Welcome everybody to Falcon Plays Honeycamp Studio, episode number one. Now before we get underway over here, let's get a couple of things straight. No, I am not some sort of degenerate pervert, I assure you. There's two things in this world that I love. Number one just happens to be tycoon games, and number two happens to be women. You have a game that puts these two aspects together and I kind of have to check it out. Now, Falcon, are you checking this game out because at one point in your life you aspire to run your own sleazy, sexually explicit Empire Camgirl studio? No, I assure you I've never had that inspiration. And that's the last time I will hear about this. Let's get into the game here. Oh, hey, look who decided to show up. I guess the legends are true, you do exist. Could you do me a huge favor and show up even later next time? That'd be sweet. Well, I am rather punctual, what can I say? All right, look, if you want this gig, you gotta listen to directions. We both know I'm doing you a solid by letting you manage my girls. <laughs> I'll manage your girls, all right. I mean, let's keep it 100 here. This is the closest you're getting to female interaction right now. That should be payment enough. And it will be, since that's the only payment you're getting. Let's not waste any more time. I'll start you out with one of our fresh prospects. Which one of these girls catches your eye? All of them. Well, I got just one? Just one? Oh, come on. All right, so right now we get to choose our first, um, I guess, hiree into our little sleazy cam girl empire here. All of these will have different, um, you know, backgrounds and whatnot. We have Tiffany. Let's see. Tiffany's a college student who's looking for a way to start paying off her student loans, but can't seem to find a decent part-time gig. Okay, we have Nikki. Nikki's a shy nerd girl who started out streaming video games but quickly realized how much more money she could ma she could have made by showing off the goods. <laughs> oh man, that's the, uh, I know what that's all about right there. Uh, well, not that I, you know, personally go off and show the goods myself. I mean, you know, what the reference is over here, goddammit. Uh, Kiana says, um, or she doesn't say, but Kiana's a fitness buff who's looking for a fun way to provide for her family that ideally makes a lot more money than hairdressing. Alright, so right now we have the um, fetishes that they kind of adhere to. Yes, you heard me right, the fetishes. Uh, Tiffany is going to be a teenager and fit, so she'll be kind of like, you know, looking for that part of the market in terms of fans that are like looking for fit teenage girls to watch on cam. Nikki happens to be huge tits and glasses. Yes, that's right, huge tits and glasses. And Kiana happens to be a Latina with a thick ass. Alrighty, I kind of know what I'm going to choose. You guys kind of know a lot about me, assuming you've been around the channel for a while now. Never really talked about Falcon, your type of girl. Alrighty, here's another um, little um, notch on the old Falcon information sheet. Falcon happens to be an ass man. So, Kiana, thick ass Latina, sounds like a good one over here. Let's go ahead and recruit her. Good call. That's kind of who I was thinking too, but I'd say that no matter who you picked. Uh, I'm sure you would. Now that we've recruited her, we have to employ her. Otherwise, it's like, what was the point? Right. It's pretty easy, though. I'll show ya. Break open the girls section for me, will ya? No, I'll break it open. All you gotta do to employ her is drag her from the girls section to the open position on the studio bar to the right. <laughs> uh, I have to assume that's on purpose there. The open position, yeah, okay. Let's bring on um, thick-ass Keanu over what here. What did I say? Easy, right? Why don't we give our new employee a try? Let's have her do a quick cam show. Oh, cool. Drag her from the studio bar to the building in the southwest corner of the city. That's the cam studio. I can do that. Keanu, can over here. Get your thick ass into this cam studio. Sweet. Uh-huh. The cash she earns from camming gets deposited at the studio, so you have to pull it out if you want to spend it. <laughs> ah, the play on words are going to have me giggling like a little schoolgirl here. Click anywhere to continue, yes. To collect her earnings, you got to click up on that building. Go ahead. You do the work. I'll watch. No, you're into that, huh? Me too. Uh, click on it, right? Yeah, five. Five dollars? <laughs> Clearly this girl is new to camming. I mean, look, it's a start, I guess. But if we're going to make it in this industry, we need fans. You know, regulars. Desperate dudes with disposable income. Never heard of them. Never. We'll have to release some dirty photo sets for free. I don't like free, but we need the exposure. Let's have a legit shoot done. Drag her over to the photo studio, okay? Similar to Cam 
some shows, we have to collect the new fans she attracted. So, do that. All right, she got five new fans from this um, dirty photo shoot. All right, so here's the deal with fans. Each new fan we get has a preference. Everybody has their kink, their fetish. Yeah, don't we all? I'm sure I don't need to explain what a fetish is to a sick freak like you, but it's important to go over anyway. <coughs> of course, yeah, you probably should go over it. I might just not know what it is. I'll show you what I mean. Crack open the fan section real quick. Here you can see how many fans we have broken down by fetish. Looks like she had a small following before we hired her. Fans of a particular fetish will only watch girls who can satisfy that desire. People are picky about their porn like that. So if you had a bunch of dudes who were into black chicks, that's not going to help an Asian girl at all. You get it? That makes sense. When you send a girl to do a photo shoot, she's only going to interest new fans who match one of her fetishes. You can always see which fetishes a girl satisfies by checking her profile. I'll show you. Click her face on the studio bar. You know, I feel like they missed a perfect opportunity here. Click her face? That could have been poker face, right? Am I right? You guys get it. No? Okay. See? Her fetishes are listed right here. Each girl will naturally support a couple by default. Her current fan count, which is based on her fetishes, is down here. The more fans she has, the more money she'll earn camming. Let's have our girl do another cam show. Only this time, I'm going to show you a special technique I call finger blasting. <laughs> If you click on a building while a girl is there, it'll rush the activity so it's completed faster. It's pretty useful. We'll kick off a show as normal. Drop her off at the camp studio for a hot minute. Hot minute, I like that. Okay, so you come over here. Now click the shit out of that building. I'll keep the clock frozen so you can get an idea of how it works. All right, so now, okay. All right. Look at that! That's some damn fine clicking! You can also click and hold if you want. Let's give that a try. Collect the cash from the camp studio by clicking and holding down on the building. That's oh, actually easier. I'd rather just hold. Yeah. So far, so good. But we're not gonna make that fuck you. Oh, sorry, no! I, I, I skipped the fuck you money part. I sorry, I'm sorry guys, I, I clicked by mistake. Gotta hold, gotta hold. There's a model agency in town that's bound to be ripe with hotties looking to make a quick buck. If you send one of our girls in there undercover to shill our studio, I'm sure she can line up some solid prospects. It's better than you going in there and creeping them out. I'm not saying you're busted, but you're not winning any pageants. Hey, 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 hey. I'm far beyond ratchet, I assure you. Oh, and we ain't employing shit unless we open up a new position. We gotta invest in growing the business, you know? Sounds right. Here, why don't you pull up the invest section and I'll show you. There are a lot of aspects of business you can invest in here to expand operations, improve functions, and maximize revenue. In order to employ a second girl, we need to invest in staffing, which we just happen to be able to afford. Imagine that. Imagine that. I'm too important to click things, so go ahead and invest in staffing for me, will ya? You got it. Alright, moving up in the world. Now when you recruit a new girl, just drag her to this open position to employ her. And there you have it. Those are most of the basics of running a cam girl operation. But don't forget, you work for me, and I expect results. I want to see him fast too. I'm not getting any younger. I'll give you three weeks to get as many new fans as possible. That's 21 days. Anybody can do that. Sure. The more fans, the oh better. Oh my god. There are some dope ass dick trophies in it for you too. I made them myself. I can see that. There are plenty of dick trophies alright. So 5k would be the, the, <laughs> the flaccid dude. Silver's kind of like, yeah, you know, you're coming up in the world. Gold is kind of like, hi right, baby, let's go. Platinum's just like, you went too far, and then Diamond, Jesus Christ, dog. I don't even know which one's that one. <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that one. So remember, 21 days. The clock is ticking, so don't be dicking around on me. I want that big money, boy. <laughs> I highly recommend starting out by recruiting and employing more girls, because one or two ain't gonna cut it. It's true. Now get back to work. I'll check in later to go over some other stuff with ya. Peace!
Alrighty, I'll catch you later. So, time's gonna be running regularly. Now you could actually pause it by going to the settings. Meanwhile, if you want to do so, let me do a quick little save here just in case, and let's get underway. Let's actually get another female, as this uh, fine lady just pointed out. We can't go there ourselves. Let's send Kiana, thick-ass Kiana over here. I guess if I click, I get to do this faster as well. Oh, okay. shit. I forgot something. What? We're not running off slave labor here. We do have to pay these lovely ladies. Oh, we do? All right. Yeah, they probably should get some money, too, for their, their work here. I'll show you how we do payroll. Do me a favor and open up the books real quick. The payroll section shows a list of employed girls, what their current hourly rates are, and what we owe them. If we have the cash on hand, you can process the payroll at any time by clicking this pay button. But be careful because the payroll will automatically process every night at midnight, even if we can't afford it. So I'm just saying, keep an eye on that. The last thing I need right now is you knocking us into debt. Oh, and pro tip, don't forget to invest in inventory. Just trust me, it's not my first time around the block. Hmm, mm-hmm. All right, so inventory should be the next thing we get after another female here. So let's see By who we have way, available. When you're looking at new girls to recruit, there are a couple things to keep in mind. The music note represents her talent level. The higher her talent level is, the more money she earns per fan while camming. The little bow represents her style level. The higher her style level is, the more fans she will attract with photo shoots. But higher talent and style levels do come at a cost, as she will usually demand a higher hourly rate. So, you better be sure we can afford to take her on board before you go off hiring a total babe. If you want more details, you can hover over the music note and little bow icons. Last thing, this fan count here is how many of our existing fans would be interested in her, based on her fetishes. Alrighty, so let's see. We have uh, Zoe, we have Belly, and we have Nikki. Nikki's the same one from last time, so I'm not gonna read her. Belly, what do you got? Belly was a conservative yoga instructor until recently when she discovered her true sexual nature, and frankly, she's kind of a freak. Happens to be an Asian, a chubby Asian. How about that? You don't really see that too often, I wanna say. That's gotta be some sort of like niche fetish right there. We have Zoe as well. You look like a straight up anime character. Zoe is an insufferable millennial who tries a little too hard to be unique. She sexually identifies as a cybernetic android. Oh. Okay. Uh, a flat-chested ebony girl. Okay, we have a uh, chubby Asian, and we have a, a girl with huge tits and glasses. Now, they cost $2 because this one has, um, let's see, talent level is going to be 1. Belly's a 2. She will attract more fans with each photo shoot, while Belly's won't do that much of that. Nikki's kind of like the one that falls behind over here. But of course, she does cost a dollar, while these cost $2 each uh, per hour. Let's go with, um, hmm, mm hmm. I like the idea of more money per cami right now, because we're kind of low, so I think this will be a good start. We'll pick up Belly. So, she drinks sometimes and she never smokes. Zoe never drinks, but she smokes frequently. And then, um, Nikki's kind of like the never does anything bad over here. I wonder how that plays out into the game later. I guess we'll find out. Let's go with Belly. Me? Alright. And, um, we should go into Girls and get Belly on over I'm here. Nervous. Yeah, you're kind of nervous? Yeah, me too. And we'll send That's both of you over here to do some camming. Get the clicking on over here, get some money happening. Bye bye. Alrighty. They're waiting again. I guess we'll just toss them in here for now. I want to get up to like the 50 marker so we get that inventory spot opened up as soon as possible here. I'm finished. Now, if we do send them to the studio, we'll get a few more fans. Right now we're at 25, correct? Let's see, let's go to girls here momentarily. And let's see. Asian Chubby. I wonder if we could open up more fetishes down the line. Like, uh, I'm assuming they start getting involved in like different type of like. Outside activities, you know, they suddenly pick up a weird fetish. <laughs> I don't know how that would work out, but you never know. Let's see, stress amount is 8%, she's healthy, 50, okay. Hairstyle is regality, I guess you could switch to stuff later down, huh? Okay. So, she is cool for now. I wanted to find out exactly how much we do owe these senoritas right now. I guess we'll go to the books for that one. We owe Kiana $6 and Belly $4 so far. Okay. That's not too bad. In terms of the fans, we have 25. 11 of our fans happen to be into thick-ass girls. These guys know what's up. Um, eight of them happen to be into chubbies as well. Four into Latinas and two into Asians. So, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like uh, most of our fans are into the ethnicities that we have for some reason. They don't like the exotic ones. But they are into thick asses and chubby. How about that? Okay, let's um go into a photo shoot and probably pick up a few That's extra fine. fans if we can. Alright, we got three more. That's eh, kind of whatever. You're gonna help me out here, though. 
right? Eh, not too much. Let's toss some more in here again. Click away. Alrighty, 45. We've picked up, what, 20 more? That's not too bad. Let's pick up a few extra one just in case. I'm over here just clicking away like crazy, too. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay. 55. Let's have you guys go into the studio one more time. And maybe... Okay, now we're getting in some double digits as well as in terms of the pool. Oh, that's up. That's good. $69, the magical number. Of course it would be that. Let's go into... I'm not going to pay you guys just yet, but let's go into investing really quickly. Let's pick up this inventory stuff. Okay, sweet. Now that you've invested something into inventory, let me explain how accessories work. This is the adult shop. If you send a girl here to browse around for a bit, you'll be able to pick up a new accessory. The adult shop carries all kinds of messed up shit. Sex toys, drugs, and some weird ass, random ass stuff. <laughs> Just really weird and random ass, you know? Ass twice. When you get a new accessory, it'll be chilling right here. This is our accessory storage area. Why, why do we have cocaine in our storage already? From here, you can drag an accessory onto any currently employed girl on the studio bar. You can see which accessories a girl has at any time by checking out her profile. Accessories do all kinds of crazy shit. Each one has a unique effect, and they can be insanely useful. <laughs> How would cocaine help? Let's find out. Coke! All activities will be done twice as fast. Well, that's actually what Coke would actually um, do to a person here. How do I know? Well, you know, college is a wild time. Um, okay. So I guess I could just... I don't, I don't see how, I don't, I'm not sure how comfortable I am providing cocaine to these two young ladies over here. But, uh, <laughs> which one should we give it to? The, the chubby Asian or the thick-ass Latina? I think we gotta go with thick-ass Latina, right? Yeah, we'll give it her. Actually, right now she's better when it comes to bringing us more money. So I'm gonna go give it to the chubby Asian after all. So we popped her full of cocaine? Get over here and start camming, baby. There's more cocaine in it for you, just in case. As a matter of fact, she's got 24 hours worth of cocaine, if I'm right, so... <laughs> oh my god, her heart is gonna fucking blow up. I'm about to pick up a murder charge here pretty soon. Have the authorities come knocking at my door. Excuse me, man running a cam studio operation over here. Oh, I, I can just hold it. This is even better in clicking. I forgot about that. Excuse me, man, running your own um, sleazy empire sex business here. One of your women just passed out and died. Do you know anything about that? Uh, you know, maybe. So it's already um, the 12 marker, right? So we have indeed paid these ladies off, I want to say. Let's see, let's go into the girls here. <laughs> go into the girls, yeah. You wish, buddy. Let's go into the books is what I meant. Um, so yeah, we've already paid them off. Perfect. And we have $91 over here opened up. Let's go into maybe pick up another extra girl, huh? I think we're now making some pretty good dough. Let's send you over here and find out what you can do for us. And I guess we can probably go do another investment here pretty soon. Okay, we have Audrey, we have Tiffany, and Nadia. Let's see, Audrey is going to be... Started messing with hard drugs after having her heart broken by her last boyfriend, and now she needs a way to feed her awesome coke habit. Oh, I'm sorry, Audrey, you came here a little bit too late. You gotta talk to our resident cokehead about that one. Tiffany, uh, fit... Oh, you're the one from the start. Right, right, we know about you and Nadia. Nadia is a self-described Russian sex goddess who used to provide sadistic and domine domineering escorting services to wealthy European men. She's a MILF and she's got tattoos, huh? And she's a two and a two. So is Audrey. Let's see, you cost $4 per hour, so do you. You are addicted to both drinks and smokes. I feel like that might be a problem for our little studio here early on. I, I might ignore Audrey and just go with Nadia with the MILF and the tattoos here. Yeah, like I feel like this might be like a deterrent to my operations over here. Oh, you say that even though you're over here, you know, providing cocaine falcon? Oh, yeah, but still, I gotta really look into who I'm gonna allow into my operation. What they do once they're in here, it's, you know, a different ballgame. So, yeah, I'm gonna pick up Nadia over here. Kinky. Excellent. Kinky and deals go into girls and pick up Nadia. Oh, we gotta unlock that spot. Right. Invest in staffing. Okay. Down to $66, but that's all right. You come over here. Yo, sick of my face yet? Too bad. Listen, now that we have a few girls, it's time to think about training. Oh, okay. Being naked on the internet isn't as easy as it sounds. You gotta put some effort into that shit. Oh, do you? If you drop a girl off here at the strip club, she can dance to earn talent points. Uh-huh. 
And if you bring a girl over here to the fashion boutique, she'll earn style points by shopping. No. When you collect the points she earns, her talent or... Oh, sorry, clicked. I clicked by mistake, I apologize. Um, her talent or style level will go up, respectively. Just remember, the higher a girl's talent and style level are, the higher her hourly rate will be. Right. And with that, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us a lot, especially for a start of a new series. I'm already having a blast with this game, honestly. It's just, you know, it's kind of like the type of game you would imagine I would play. You know, something I would have fun with just because of my, unfortunately, degenerate mind over here. But that's another different story. Um, stick around for the next episode. We should have that up here pretty soon for you. I will catch you next time.